my name is Lauren, and since it's Saturday, I was asked to do today's guest show on Gaga's Kingdom. So I'm I'm a Lady Gaga cosplayer. I've done a Yugi cosplay, a Highway Unicorn interpreted look, and some others. If you want to take a look, I have a Deviant Art page right down listed down there. If you want to check it out. I also have um, a YouTube channel, which I do cosplay videos of, and if you want to see that, that's down there too. And so, again, since today's Saturday, I was asked to talk about three things. How I became a little monster, if I ever met Lady Gaga, which I haven't, hopefully for the Born This Way Ball, I possibly could, and um, to what are my thoughts on the Born This Way Ball? And so, yeah. <laughs> it's my first time doing this, <laughs> and I'm kind of nervous. So, if you're wondering why everything gets clipped, it's because it's my first time. Anyways, how I became a little monster. Um, I first saw Lady Gaga on the Ellen Show, and. Um, I said some blasphemous things that she was going to be a one-hit wonder, and, well, now I'm a Lady Gaga cosplayer now, so that's obviously she proved me wrong, and I did not dislike her songs. I, I like to take my time into investing into an artist, because you never know when they're just going to do something completely different than what they put out there, and... I, I like Just Dance. I loved Just Dance. And as Poker Face came out, I, I liked that song as well. And so I was like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll look into this artist a little bit more as more singles came out. And then Paparazzi came out, and her performance on the VMAs was what really turned me into a little monster. Like, she put her all into that performance. She sang live better than the recorded version, which I really admire in artists. You don't see that too often these days. And, uh, you know, just the blood in her eye at the end just showed her dedication. <laughs> Alrighty, the Born This Way Ball. I haven't seen it in its entirety, and I haven't obviously seen it live, and so it's kind of hard for me to tell what it's like, and I have not seen it minute for minute. I've seen the majority of it on YouTube, but I will say that I'm really liking the directions going in. I like the storyline, the whole kill operation, kill the bitch, you know. I like all that, and it's, it's going good. So I'm just going to get into what I thought could have been tweaked a little bit and what I really like for it to stay and because we all know Lady Gaga likes to switch things up she likes to change her outfits just a few weeks in so starting with the opening I really thought Electric Chapel would have been a really great opening for the Born This Way Ball because I really love the intro of Electric Chapel and I thought the whole song kind of embodies the castle um, at first, the castle, the concept of the castle, I thought would be quite stationary compared to the monster ball. And I know people don't like comparing the monster ball to the Born This Way ball because they are two separate tours, as, as well as should be two separate. But my worry was that the castle would be too stationary. But now seeing it on video, the lights really make the castle and it can go from green to purple to rainbow and it has strobe lights in the windows I really love the castle and so instead of opening the electric chapel she opened it with How a Unicorn I love How a Unicorn and um I I love the mechanical unicorn and I wish you to perform the whole 
have a unicorn song, so if she would have performed like a chapel first, that would have again gone to full unicorn. But I love the unicorn, and it looks real. It's like a real unicorn. They're real. And, <laughs> and, um, the outfits. Can't talk about Lady Gaga concert without talking about the outfits. Some of the key outfits that I really love, and this performance overall is my favorite, is the government hooker. And I really love the outfit. I love the alien headgear. It's way cool looking. I love the little tail she has in the bottom. I love um, her winding and grinding down the stairs and getting on um, the faceless governor, I guess, <laughs> and um, the whole big bang gunshot opened up the whole ball of castle gates. I love it. Keep it Gaga. I love it. <laughs> and um, moving on to Americano, I, I really love um, the meat dress reference that she wore to the VMAs, I think. And um, at first, I didn't really like um, the dress. It kind of looked too structured to me, to be a meat dress, kind of looked too structured. So, she kind of updated it to a one-piece bodysuit. I like that better. I think Gaga wearing less clothes is always the best choice, in my opinion. But, so, I like the one-piece better. And some other key outfits that I like were, another change was, um, Black Jesus slash aim in fashion. She used to wear um, pants with a nice little, I guess, crop top. And she updated it to a nice yellow number. And it's, it's really cute. I like it. I like the new hairdo as well. I think it's fitting. So I like the new, I like the new change. Um, outfits that I feel could be kind of tweaked a little bit were Alejandro, I think the pants were a, a little too simple for the song. They were kind of, I don't really like the color either. Um, the gun bra, she did it in her video. I think she could have taken a different route to Alejandro, kind of maybe interpret it in a different way for the tour. But either way, it's good. Um, her new Just Dance outfit, not my favorite. Not a fan of the blanket outfit. It's purple. I like purple. Purple's a good color, but the blanket outfit, I'm I just don't like it that much. I'm I'm sure I'm sure it'll change. Everything's changing as she goes along, which is fine. That's why we love Lady Gaga. She's never the same. So, um, I wouldn't keep the Just Dance outfit. Maybe it's just a one-time thing. Hopefully. Bloody Mary. Everybody loves the song Bloody Mary. It's almost everybody's top five on the album. But I feel that the performance, although it was something nobody would expect, a kind of a eerie, foggy, almost alien-esque show, I feel Bloody Mary is more of a raw, intense, um, heavy, heavy pushing song that I feel it could have been taken a little bit further than her just gliding around the monster pit. I feel like it could have been more of a dance, hitting dance number. Just my opinion. <laughs> um, heavy Metal Lover. Love the song. I love the motorcycle going around the monster pit. That's how I like going around the monster pit in the motorcycle. <laughs> And I like the little lady going on top of her. It's always, always sexy. And I like the little homage to her Born This Way album. Kind of like a, oh, Born This Way cover is in the tour. I like that. <laughs> and um, the outfit though, I feel like I've seen this outfit 10 times from her. Uh, she wore a similar outfit to the iHeart Radio concert. I like the iHeartRadio concert outfit more than the tour. It's got more bling and it kind of looks more well constructed as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's 
it's a great outfit though. Either way you slice it, it's a good outfit. I like the cuts. It's good. <laughs> so, overall impression of the Rolling Story Bowl, I love it. Even though I'm kind of nitpicking on some outfits, it's just, it's just the way it is. And it always, Lady Gaga's always evolving, and I'm sure the tour will evolve too as time goes. I mean, she's not going to be in the U.S. for quite a while. So, overall, it's, it's going great, and I, I think it's a winner. Of course, everything Lady Gaga does is a winner. So, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed my video. Um, I'm really new to this, and I'm not used to speaking on camera. <laughs> so, um... I bet you're all like happy I'm just a guest. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what was up? <laughs> Another side note. <laughs> Another side note, if you want to subscribe to my channel, which will be posted right down there, I do cosplay videos, so you won't have to hear my voice. <laughs> so, it's a little lonely down there. If you want to get... Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know where to start.